My name is Mark Hyden. I am a Georgia resident, and I'm the director of state government affairs at the R Street Institute, which is a free market center-right think tank that supports limited, effective government in many areas, including criminal justice reform. Uh, and that's why House Bill 440 is of special interest to us. Um, as it stands, Georgia is one of only four states that automatically prosecute certain minors uh, as adults. And there's, there's a reason why the supermajority of states have moved away from this. Uh, trying all 17-year-olds as adults is patently unfair in our opinion. Uh, if you can't trust these people with opening up a bank account or getting their ears pierced on their own, then clearly they shouldn't be uh, held to the same level of responsibility in the criminal system. But this policy also, it, it burdens minors with adult criminal records that are going to follow them for the rest of their lives, making it hard for them to ever get a decent job, uh, and it may prevent them from, from enjoying certain rights and privileges. Uh, but placing minors in adult prisons, which this can be a consequence, also creates other forms of negative outcomes. These individuals are 34 to 77 percent more likely to recidivate than those who remained housed in juvenile facilities. But this policy additionally places youths in other forms of harm. Youths comprise less than 1% of the adult prison population, but they're the recipients of 21% of sexual violence in prison. And these youths are also nine times likelier to commit suicide than their counterparts that remained in uh, juvenile facilities. And as already has been mentioned, uh, science uh, backs up that there is a, a, a lack of culpability in many of these youths because the part of your brain that um, helps you develop um, rational behavior and, and understanding cause and effect doesn't fully develop until sometime after your 17th birthday. Uh, but besides all these issues, punishing all 17-year-olds as adults wholesale uh, is unnecessary because there's other methods uh, within the legal system that permits minors to be treated as adults on a case-by-case -case basis uh, depending on the severity of the crime. And for these reasons, uh, the Gar Street Institute fully supports this bill. Uh, and when it does come up for a vote, uh, we, we hope that you'll give it serious consideration. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate your testimony before the committee. Um, and there 